What is up, risk takers? Welcome to the Kill Pete strategy. I am Pete. I am a top 10 player playing Risk Global Domination on PC. I have a daily release schedule on YouTube. I do a fixed game every Friday. This is today's show, Fixed Friday. I do the Waiting on Your Best Behavior podcast on Wednesdays and every other day. I do whatever I feel like. If you are interested in getting better at the game of Risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and come along this ride with me. And today we are playing six player classic fixed 60 second turns with manual setup and true random dice very interesting okay I'm last act which is not ideal as far as picking I kind of have to wait and see where everyone goes um, settings for this game will be manual setup, classic map, 60 second turn, expert AI, fixed cards, true random dice, and no filtering rank alliances are on, fog and blizzards are off. And I'm going to see who would like to be friends with me. Anybody? Well, my favorite continent is North America. So let's start there. And I'm going to point my, my stacks away from the green player in South America and the yellow player in Europe. Interesting move by yellow to capture Greenland. And looks like orange has a strong guard <clears throat> for Africa. Because yellow put up there, that would have been where I put my next territory. So that means I put here and I'm going to expand out this way. Yellow is going for Europe. Interesting that they chose not to guard interior with their territory selection. We have uh, purple and blue. Looks like they're going to be fighting each other for Australia. And the more territories I can get in North America, the better. I'm not going to fight green. I'm going to let them have it because I need green as an ally. I should probably look at the players and see if that is a likely scenario. In the first position, we have General Kosla, 89-95 from Germany, with seven hours played, three wins and seven losses. So this is a high-risk situation, letting green have a bonus on my border um, for them being a newer player. In the second position, uh, we have... Uh, XD Aaron Zuelo XDS with 21 hours, 3 wins, and 14 losses. So yellow is not particularly good either. That could be bad for me. In the third position, we have the purple player, Blaze Fujimura, with 727 hours played, 135 wins, and 1046 losses. That is a 10 to 1 loss to win ratio. All right. See, this is actually quite good for me. As long as I don't get broken by green on their first turn. I'm in a great situation, because now green is fucking with orange, and orange is fucking with yellow. And yellow is fucking with me, but I don't need this continent right away. In the fifth, in the fourth position, Rodrigo Vasquez, with 199 hours played, 79 wins, and 265 losses. In the fifth position from the Netherlands, Mr. Cools, 17 hours played, 4 wins, and 15 losses, and I am in the final position. This is... Bird Blitz from Bangladesh, my fixed account, 14 hours played with 10 wins and 16 losses. I'm just slowly capturing almost all of North America right away. I will be in a single contiguous position. I need to get my takes in Asia. I'm also going to need to not super militarize this border and we're gonna let we're gonna let green play, and see how hard they want to boost this up because I'm always after them to act. So I can play nice and I should 
because I want them going that way. Japan's better anyways. I get Japan. No, I get Yakutsk. All right, here we go. Turn one, uh, sorry, now we manual place when we go through our troops. So everyone's placing 13. I don't need to, to guard this until he does. Let's go through this quickly, guys, if we could. It'd be kind of nice. I don't... Okay, good. This is good. The longer I keep no troops there, the longer green keeps no troops there, the happier we both are. This situation is a kind of surprising to me, that yellow trying to involve themselves in North America when they would have ostensibly looked like they were wanting to go for Europe. I'm putting all my troops here until green starts building up that stack, right? This They, they all go here. All right. Green wants to put one. I'll put one. And it's true random, too, so... Gotta be careful with those odds. Nothing's 100% in true random. And two stacks defend really well. All right, I see what green is doing. Green is setting up a defensive perimeter. I could get crippled on my first turn just by being last in the turn order. don't like the, the stacking here. Looks like blue and purple are going to annihilate each other right off the bat. Okay, green accepts my alliance request. Good. I don't need to militarize that border anymore if you don't. Let's be friends, green. New World Gang. Oh, interesting. They put a two stack in Peru. That's a mistake. That troop isn't going to do anything at this stage in the game. Right? If I was green, I'd be worried about this situation here. So this setup has actually evolved in a way that I'm quite happy with. Uh, my game hinges around green not breaking me early. And I haven't really shown any aggression to them, and I allowed them to hold their continent. So they can have their plus two on the first turn. I just hope I don't get obliterated. This is hilarious. No Australia, no win, right? Absolutely hilarious. And the first turn begins. Green player adds to their 10 stack and rushes the other 10. Looks like they have nowhere else to attack. Poor orange. No. They don't take a card. Cool. That might be really smart. Uh, yellow's going to hit me and then pull back. Yep. I expect this four to move here. Okay, it moves all the way. Cool. 
So then this goes here, and I close that door. And I don't add here at all, and I very slowly take over. <laughs> Blue is reduced to five troops on the very first turn. Unbelievable. You never know, that could have been the right move for purple, though. Okay, it's true random. Just roll that four into the six, right? What could happen? Yep. <clears throat> He's going to slow roll it right on. <clears throat> Blue and purple obliterate each other. This is great. Look, nobody's pointed at me. Everyone's pointed at each other. Do I go greed mode and try and take North America? I think I do. I'm three territories away and I can guard it from these two positions. I think I do. Orange takes Africa. And reinforces here. Fuck it. I'm going to play it nice and slow. Split that 13 in half. If I hold North America for even one turn, I think I'm probably in a great position to do well this game. Oh, amazing. Amazing. That couldn't have been better for me. <clears throat> Green breaks orange and not me. Fuck yeah. Ask me to hit green. I won't. Okay, how many troops does yellow put here? Because I got my own problems. So orange hates green, green hates orange, blue hates purple. Yeah, I have no reason to hit green. Green needs to, green can keep punching that way. And I have no reason to start the war with yellow. I'm in a great position. I'm in a great position. Watch me fuck it out. <laughs> uh, blue has bought it. Okay, blue's bought. Orange will get a take somewhere, maybe in Asia, and then pull. Yeah, it, uh, orange is gonna go hit that way or that way, and then put to their three, which is exactly why I don't hit green because then green doubles down. Yeah. Okay. We have a bot in Asia. Cool. Orange goes take and then reinforce.
and I get eight troops. Ding! Love it! Remove green's exterior position, uh, guarding a six stack, in interior a nine stack on uh, the European border, and a ten stack exterior in Kamchatka. Oh, Orange broke my, broke their alliance with me because I didn't attack Green, even though I did, but they didn't want this to happen. And here we go. Green continues working on Orange. Orange player will be defeated. Yellow matches me. Okay. If it's a match, then I don't need to escalate, so we can leave nine stacks there and build up elsewhere. You gotta, you gotta figure, yellow. If I wanted to break you, I would have. What I wanted to avoid was I wanted to avoid the, this two stack or this twelve stack coming up into me. I want to hold my continent for as long as possible, and I'm very happy to let yellow take a second to do that. Yellow fails to get a take. Don't roll a 12 on 12, you definitely don't roll a 3 on 3, and I don't think you roll a 9 on 9. So they were not able to give themselves cards this turn. Yeah, Purple's actually going to do alright. They're going to turtle in Australia and come back. They needed to do what they needed to do on that first turn um, to get rid of blue, and their roll went okay, so now they're not dead and we have an Australian turtle. Blue player will be defeated. Doing the split double guard in China and India. Okay, I don't build up either of these borders now. I'm happy with that nine staying that number. I don't need to show any aggression to green because they're going that way. I put all my troops here and do something insignificant like take Japan. <laughs> Excellent. This is going so well for me. <laughs> I don't have to do anything. So I don't threaten green. I don't threaten yellow. And I let them kill themselves. Uh, green is going to kill orange now. Cool. That's going to cost them a bit. Green's going to be pretty weak. But they get two cards. No, they get three cards. I have the low match. Oh, green is so weak. And orange is defeated. Would not have expected Orange to be the first player defeated, but play nice with your neighbor, sometimes it works out. yellow do? What yellow does now really matters. I think on my turn I kill blue for their three cards. Yellow just retakes Europe and sits, right? Yeah. No, they break Africa? Well, if they break Africa, then I can break South America. But maybe I leave South America. Because now Yellow started a war with Green. I want Green to have those extra troops, and I want them going that way. I 
almost want to ask him to attack yellow, but I think he's going to anyways, and I don't want him to make it think it's my idea. Purple takes out green before I get the chance. Or t uh, takes out blue before I get the chance? Yeah. Blue dies. Manual setup accelerates the game. Um, usually what happens in fixes is if with an auto setup, everyone kind of jockeys for position in the first five ish turns then everyone establishes their continents and then we have what essentially happened on turn one. Oh, 13 stack a eh? that goes here why would you hit japan give me more cards that goes here that goes there i see Okay, I don't need to militarize this. I don't need to militarize this. I can get an easy take in Japan. I'm happy with him having 12 territories. You earned it, purple. Alright, I predict green adds and breaks Europe. These guys are handing me the game. This is the perfect army up here. 20 forts. It feels like it's out of everyone's way. Okay. Green would like to establish Africa. Yellow has eight troops to add. Where do they go? Take here or here. Break Africa again. You're dumb. You have a better bonus. Yeah, now green's gonna fucking punch you. <laughs> and you should. Because <laughs> you're greedy. So we have a green versus yellow war, and I'm happy to allow green to continue to get these extra two troops from South America. has almost all of Asia, 13 territories and 33 troops. I'm in a very strong lead, 48. My cards are shit. This is only the fifth turn. <clears throat> the uh, manual setup really accelerates the progression of the game. All right, so I do the guard, non-threatening, just the one up there. Just to keep at parity, because I don't want to threaten. This is the least threatening move on purple. So now I'm I'm not actually pointing my stack at them per se. I still have the road to go that way. If I did it the other way, my road would, would, would look like that. And then they would need to guard themselves better. really not trying to instigate any conflict. I'm trying to let these guys fight each other. And green breaks yellow. No? Guard strong? Breaks. You roll that 14 on 4. There you go. Alright. This game's going well for me. Now what do you do if you're yellow? Other than die. Yeah. 
and you put yourself in that position Bing. Now we're talking. I'm gonna let these guys kill each other. Purple matches in gets the 10 match. And I'm going to, they're going to open up my 31 stack in Mongolia. I put my entire reinforcement here. I'm in the lead at 71 troops, followed by the purple player at 44. Yellow has 31, and green has 28. Green and yellow are at war, and they are both breaking each other's bonuses, which is good for me. I can sit back and let these guys kill each other. I figure the second I... At, at some point, your greed might say, hey, just take South America for yourself, but I don't need to, right? I... I'm getting a lot more out of these two troops going into yellow than I am if I were to have them myself. Um, I'm just sitting back, letting these guys punch each other, and I'm now almost at double the second placed player. Break, break. Get, get South America too, please. Yellow is desperately trying to guard Europe. Purple making that preemptive strike on blue has worked out for them. Five goes to Siam. Yeah. All right. I can trade till the cows come home. match now. We got yellow and green fighting each other. Green matches and gets the 10. I sure hope that goes into Europe. Well played. Kill each other. I like it. Oh, green's done. Good. Good. Keep going. Yeah. Now we're talking. Now I can kill yellow. <laughs> 
that goes into my stack. Yes. Ooh. So, here's the thing. Now I know where yellow is going. I don't need to kill them. They're gonna they're gonna kill themselves for me, and they're gonna punch green. Uh, looks like purple's going for the kill. And they fail. Well, I mean, three cards for eleven troops might as well. triple green at the same time. Yes, sir, really. Yes, sir, really. I have 87 troops. My opponents combined have less than me. Green breaks his alliance. So green has no cards. He can't counterattack. The really is, yes, of course I take this moment to break you. Because you have no ability to counterattack me. <clears throat> so what do you do from this position if you were green? You die. Suicide into my 24, you die. Purple is locked, I win this game. What is it, the sixth turn? The ninth turn. Purple's going to add six troops. Can't break my defenses, I kill green finish the game in two turns. Feels good. This was a good one. True random didn't get me. Because I didn't have to do anything. I just added in the right place and let my opponents hit each other. There you go. That's the principle of the day. Let your opponents hit each other. And clean up the mess. Wish them all a good game. the game. A nice quick one. 35 minutes in for Fixed Fridays. What do you say? What do you know, ladies and gentlemen? Sometimes you don't have to do anything. Your opponents will kill each other for you. some of it fun and informative. Um, if you are interested in getting better at the game of Risk, I invite you to subscribe to this channel and come along the ride with me. I have a daily release schedule on YouTube. I do a fixed game every Friday. I do the Waiting on Your Best Behavior podcast on Wednesdays. And every other day is whatever I feel like. And until next time, for all of you on the path to world domination, good games and good luck.